So today we're going to have a simply amazing program, and we're going to talk a little bit more about Cassini's grand finale. So today we connected with NASA JPL. We were getting in on the information about Cassini. Cassini is a spacecraft that's for about the past 20 years has been taking pictures and gathering other data from Saturn as well as its, its moon Titan and sending it back to Earth. It's on its final journey. Um, they're about to crash it into the planet because it's running out of energy. And so our students got to connect with NASA there at JPL. And we also have a really special school out in Kansas, uh, which is actually called Chris McComb. The distance learning is just about the next best thing to being there. Um, we can see them, they can see us, they can hear us, we can hear them. They push out videos and slides. So it's almost like having them right here in the room with us. So when they got to the question answer, they call on Chris McCullough School. Do you guys have a question? And so our kids were able to read off a question. They were able to answer it, and they showed us their favorite image. So it's almost as good as having them right here in the room with us. I love all schools equally, but I do want to give a shout out to USD 259 in Wichita, Kansas. I think we have one of the schools on. That's my home school district. Todd Barber, who went to Curtis Middle School and also went to Southeast, he was one of the lead engineers, or is a lead engineer on this project, and so we got to see him, and he was giving us some information about it also, so that made it really exciting for our kids here. I think it's really important for our kids because you think here in Wichita, Kansas, especially I think for our students, unless their parents are in the engineering field or a STEM field, it just seems like it's far away, and some of they, how do we get there? And then to hear that a student that went through Curtis, that went through Southeast, which we feed into Southeast, here he is working for NASA and has been one of the lead engineers. I think it allows our kids to dream and think about the possibilities too and to think, oh, I can do that because they have lots of good questions and it helps them figure I can get there not, instead of just not even consider it. Students at Chris McConnell, please come up to the microphone, unmute, and let's hear your question. What is the most important fact you learned from Cassini and why? I had my sixth grade students and then I had a bunch of third graders, sixth graders just because that's the time of day the program was at noon and that's who I had in here. And the third graders because last year when they were second graders they had read a story in their reading book and they were so excited, they had so many questions that year that we stopped what we were doing in here and we changed and we studied all about space because they had so many questions so I thought we've got to get those kids in here. Uh, we're not there yet, we need your help to be able to pull off those missions in a few decades. Every year we celebrate Chris McCullough's birthday. We just did that a couple weeks ago, which is why how this came about. Um, I was trying to find a connection. What did NASA have going on at the time so that would relate to astronauts, etc. Um, and we found out about this event. I'm like, we've got to do this here. So, and then having a local person being a lead engineer, that was just a bonus. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all the schools that have connected with us today.